Good morning. It's Friday, July 24th, and I'm testing. I just finished testing the uh, trading the open. A lot of people say they don't like trading the open. I trade the open here with the system that we have, and I thought I was recording the last beautiful clip that would have shown a hundred buck gain in the, uh, trading the micro Nasdaq first thing here in the morning off this 10 minute candle, which again, um, we use this time chart here on the left side for uh, the overall micro trend, okay? The overall micro trend. It doesn't mean that in a one hour time frame, NASDAQ is not still on an uptrend, but for the shorter time frame, obviously we're taking all the shorts and we're entering off of super micro time frame, which is a price chart I like to use called the Renko. In the last week, I built a whole system with 30 different markets, 30 different markets with 30 different settings for each particular uh, market, including future uh, currencies. They each have special settings. You can't just have put a mean Renko 6 on just anything and make it work. You got to use decimals and stuff in some of these uh, fractional markets. And um, so we, we've mastered that. Um, so this system that I've built here, this workspace, is a, a future discretionary trading workspace coming into our futures um, trading program. Okay. Um, we are using a lot of Bill Williams um, strategies, which basically, but I have it all modified. So, you know, I use uh, Bill Williams fractals to enter positions off, um, and um, obviously I use moving averages. I'm a big time moving average guy. Everybody knows that. But Bill Williams has a thing called gators, which is just using about three uh, moving averages. I use a few wider time frames. I mean, uh, moving averages to... Um, because they just work um, so I don't go with just three I use about five and I use they are Fibonacci numbers they're popular numbers used by most people in the world therefore I use them I use the uh, 8 13 21 55 100 we've modified these I've had our, our programmer um, code these up in easy language and trade station to change colors green long red sh short cyan looking color uh, when it's kind of choppier sideways and not always is it going to get cyan we use moving averages to know when the trend is sideways you can see that I've made a custom chop indicator here it's called a chop index um, this is extra this is going to be part of the workspace in this workspace anything above the 61.8 percent um, this is not a directional indicator this is an index almost like a VIX and what this is doing is when it's up in these up in these areas here it's indicating chop and you can clearly see when it drops under the level of 61 we get into trending markets so it helps you see sideways chop it breaks down and you get but it's not a directional indicator okay it's using ATRs and stuff in the back end to determine uh, that for example uh, let's see what do we have here we're still on a move on the 10 minute and this is reading off the 10 minute right the trend um, here we're getting some consolidation this is 20 minutes in the morning already on uh, I had to sim this okay because I'm making a video and again I don't like trading and doing live trade um, most of the time I have too much emotion involved in it everybody knows that's how that works doing a video demonstration and doing that is just too much concentration so I put this on sim I held the resting order off of uh, shoot, which pivot was it? There was a pivot printed over here. Um, where were we at? This area here. I utilized these pivots. So I made a general entry. It was like around here, about four minutes after the open, and we ran down. Nice. Now my point is, is this too? How was one going to be able to, and sorry guys, I'm looking over here at what would have happened. This could have been a losing trade here. You would have a resting order on this pivot here. Would have came in, and our exit strategy is to reverse bricks the other way. So, okay, anyways, um, this 10-minute chart helps with the uh, overall direction but you cannot how could I trade this how do I know on this candle what is this this mess one big candle 
So if you're trading like that, where do you, you know, get in, where do you get out? I just take anything you can. I don't like using that philosophy. I like to have rules. Um, so we have <clears throat> our Renkos. Not everybody likes them, but this is this is to make money. It's not supposed to look pretty, or you're supposed to like the way it looks or not. If it makes money and it works, that's this is that's the thing. And so um, this is a system I've kind of put together using different methods that I've adopted that I like that works for me. So I'm going to see how many people I can help with it because this is our discretionary workspace. Okay. I've had uh, this chop index coded. I've had these moving averages coded into TradeStation. Um, they have their own in there. The fractals are free. They're in there, but it's part of our workspace. And then this oscillator is, uh, is coded for us too. You cannot get it. There's another person in there selling it in the TradeStation app store or leasing it, shall I say. And it's, it's based on Elliott Wave Oscillation. Now, I'm not an Elliott Wave Theory guy. I just like the damn oscillator and the science behind it, so we put it there. Okay, so um, here you'd like to see maybe another, I put a sell stop order over near this pivot just to see if we can get another short run. Because see, overall here we're short. Um, you know, obviously price is going to try to retrace into this big candle by 50% is my guess, but I'm just using the fractal rules. Oh, and another thing is this workspace is going to be automated eventually. And that's going to be something that is going to be on the TradeStation app store and is going to be uh, also leased because it's just a lot of thousands of dollars of human time and effort and research put into this. And it seems to be working good and making money. We have all these markets that are going to be on this workspace. See the, on this list all the way from all your equities, ES, NQ, and the micros, the Russells, Nikkei. We have a couple of meat like cattle and hog, crude oil, nat gas, energy. We have six different major U, uh, uh, foreign uh, currency pairs. And then I got a few uh, corn, soy, wheat. Dow is down here and gold and some couple of metals. You have a couple of bonds in here because people like them. So I'm built, I built this system. And by the way, I have Renko settings for all of these. There's a PDF chart that's going to come with every package. And this 10-year notes and 30-year bonds, for example, they all have ratios that I sat down and I developed uh, and figured out because there was no one on the internet to help or give advice. There was no one. There was no one in any forum that was going to come through and help and figure out, okay, um, how to uh, set those. You see, we have a fractal break entry there. I'm going to put a uh, protection order here. It's going to probably stop it. There's a way this moves, but the rule is two green can uh, candle the other way. And it's going to probably stop. But my whole point is, is uh, we had to take that entry. That's the rules. That stop order was already hit there. And, you know, and they can run. Um, obviously, you see we're going sideways here in the, um, in the morning now after that big sell of candle. You see, uh, you're up another, you know, few point, five, six point, whatever. Okay. Whether it gets me out or not, it not matter. And actually, the rule should be... Um, that I only get out after two green bars are printed. In this case, it is, and I'm out. So I lost uh, money there, right, on that trade. So just to show you that you're going to have losing trades, but your winning trades supersede your losers if you keep these rules because um, this big trade here was 84 bucks, and now looking here at a small loss I took before I recorded, and this small loss, now I'm at, $54 on the micro, which on a regular NASDAQ, you'd be up 540 40 bucks. So you'd be hitting your targets on a larger accounts in the open. This is still 8.50 a.m. Central, and this is still in the open uh, for most people that wouldn't, wouldn't want to touch this stuff. Okay, But you would have already, and trust me, you would have probably already in real life been playing over here. You would have already been really accomplished and well off here. And $84 in micro NASDAQ, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that's $840 with one NASDAQ contract that we made off this fractal break right here at 834. And it was a five minute trade. I mean, I don't, I don't know how much more simpler we can make it than that. So that's going to be the system. And again, there's going to be all these markets available. You can trade whatever you want. If you're a Forex person, 
you can come over to the futures side and trade these. Now they don't trade, you cannot manage them like in Forex and micro them out. Um, they're ten dollar ticks, but the margins to get in on them is pretty cheap, um, like a thousand bucks or something, I believe. I don't trade them personally myself, but I've been considering it. You know, I put this system together, this list together, for people that are also interested in trading combines and and getting their combine accounts, um, getting good enough to trade other people's money. I looked at several combines and seen what markets they like people to, to trade, allow to trade, and I picked those major markets. So again, we have a nice amount of equities, meat, agriculture, you know, also the grains, agriculture, future currencies, metals, and a couple of interest rates and stuff. I added these to customize it also and tailor it for, you know, again, combine people that are going to be trading other people's money. In the combines, these are markets that they want you to see uh, trade. That you, they want to see you trade. So we kind of tailored that for that too. Um, again, um, some combines will accept you to trade out of uh, TradeStation's platform. Um, so that's something for you to consider. Um, where did I do it? My oh, there it is. So you can trade. Um, do trade station for some of the major combines and they just and so you can use this workspace also when automation comes out if and when it does I don't I can't predict the time frame on it because right now building the program for everybody just on the discretionary trading part here on this workspace and stuff it's still a work ahead of me but it well, if and when automation comes out you can use it for uh, for your combine uh, as far as I know, with Top Step Trader, they're not going to hold anybody against any rules. So if you can trade, um, you could trade algorithmically in the system. There's people doing it. So, uh, but but overall, if you manage these this system I built here already, you can you can do this um, yourself. Um, I have a strategy here where I'll pull this up, and you can break down different markets here you can just snap them down take a look um, what's doing what let's look at you know as you see even Russell it's breaking down real mean each one has a custom setting if I'm not mistaken this might be a two let's go ahead and fix that up real quick I haven't figured the best real estate places to put all this uh, stuff yet I kind of tuck radar screen right in the back there so I could grab it if I need it like that. So, um, as you see, Russell sold off. He's been selling off since this morning open here at 8, 8, whatever, pre, even pre-market. And you could have taken, you know, a few of them. It's been a little messy. you got to check to see if this is the right setting, too, on it. Um, maybe, maybe not. Could be. This is overnight. You can see this chop here. Chop index is already up there showing chop. Sure enough, it did that here. And probably here's the open area right here, 830. And here's that break under that pivot. And you would have taken that thing short up until this time frame here. So, again, each market has its setting. And there's profit potential to make in this. So, I'm going to be uh, building a course this weekend about this, how to just utilize this. It's going to be real simple and short. Nothing long. And you guys will be able to um, um, receive this whole workspace um, with the custom indicators and studies that we already built and we invested money on to build. You can receive that all as a package. And then again, when, when Algorithmic comes out for it, if and when we have the team, team working on it right now, um, When they're done, if it looks like it works to my satisfaction, we'll be uploading that on the TradeStation App Store. Okay? So, and then that will be available for lease, and then you could automate these things. And um, how we're going to do it is your Renko will only take longs or shorts, depending on what the chart on the left is doing. So there's going to be global communication between these two. So we're using experts to build that. It's not going to be something that's simple to build. Well, not for average person, but it costs money to those guys to get them to build it. So, you know, that's why it's going to be on the app market. 
as a developer app product that we have under the Forte Trader brand. That's going to be something that I think a lot of people will like because a lot of people are trading with emotion and you want to get the clean that emotion out of your trading. Then once you find a market that you really like and you see good trends or uh, trends in it, you can set your algo just for that. Of course, granted, I'm going to give you all your Renko settings and such. Anyway, guys, 15 minutes here. Um, if this entertains you, uh, also sign up, go to, uh, you know, let me know or go to ForteTrader.com and just put yourself on the list there. That's just a future spread. Um, boot camp in there right now. Do not buy anything. Just uh, sign up in there so I have your info or send us an email at support at ForteTrader.com and let us know you're interested in this product so we can put you on a list um, to contact you when we have our launch. So, all right then, guys, have a good weekend.